black father calls 911 for help and gets arrested and loses his job. Um, let's give you some of the video here. The father being handcuffed by police. They can't go behind my, you see it? Mm -hmm. this, hey, this, here, just put my hands, man. I'm not going on the ground here. Right. Here, here, just put my hands. Would you stop? Please, would you stop? Would you stop? Hey, he hey. told you he's hurt. I hit my head, my wrist, I just had surgery. Would you stop? I'm right here, my head, like, what is y'all doing, man? Hey, um, hey, hey, bro, you see this? I got you. You see it? I Keep got you. my phone you. right there. You see it? I was you trying see, to be cool. Hey man, I, I'm not. How am I under arrest for telling you that I'm not finna sit down? You escalated everything. Who? The cop. He escalated everything. How y'all gonna say I'm? I'm how y'all gonna sit here and put me in the handcuffs? Cause my baby got kidnapped. Cause my baby got kidnapped. I'm suing the y'all. Hey. 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 You see this? You see this? Hey man, I'm. I'm calm down. Hey, calm down. Please just fuck off my. Outright disturbing. Even before we learn more, this is disturbing given the commentary, both from the person behind the camera and the uh, father in this case. What he's saying here, and we've covered it time and time again, where police show up, they're called by an individual, and that individual is immediately under suspicion. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Give you the background, Arizona, Darnay Cockrell called authorities for help find his kidnapped daughter. Instead, he was handcuffed, forced to the ground by responding officers. The audio, the body cam footage from August 6th, that incident has now been released to the public. And in response, Cockrell is facing consequences. And a GoFundMe page now, set up by Cockrell's neighbor, Lanair Tucker wrote, despite no crime having occurred, the officer persisted with these demands. Darnay refused to get on the ground due to a recent surgery and ongoing knee issues. The bystander and Cockrell repeatedly told the officers about Cockrell's condition, but their pleas were ignored. The two responding officers eventually subdued Cockrell to the ground before handcuffing him. The route filling in the details for us. Now a statement by the Mesa Police Department wrote Cockrell had a quote, high level of emotion, which is understandable. Is that a crime? A high level of emotion. I mean, you said your daughter's been kidnapped, whatever. Not sure why they're mentioning it, but there's more. However, because emotions were so high, he was not following reasonable directions given to him by the officer. Now I have another question, what is reasonable? When you call the police for help and they say, get on the ground. Made comments that spike concern for officer safety. Hmm. Make up your own mind, you watch the footage. Officers repeatedly told Cockrell to calm down. The father was clearly in distress throughout the entire incident. <laughs> More distress perhaps by the officers who responded. Once he was seated on the ground, you mean taken down? Cockrell repeatedly asked officers, how would you feel if their child had been kidnapped? Arizona father alleged his daughter was kidnapped by her mother, Cole Connor Sharp, who he says is a drug addict per the Daily Mail. According to him, Connor Sharp came to Cockrell's apartment to visit their daughter, but then took off with the child without permission. His daughter was returned to him within hours, but the consequences of the now viral incident took greater effect later. In the footage, Cockrell can be seen wearing a company t-shirt. After the video was posted to Instagram, Cockrell's job got wind of the exchange and he was fired. According to ABC 15, there's the police chief for you. Chief Ken Cost runs the Mesa Police Department. As mentioned before, GoFundMe had been set up to help in this case, Mr. Cockrell. Uh, and so far, they've raised, uh, well, they're close to their goal of 7,195 people donating here. So I guess, Dina, and I, you know, I apologize to people, but I can't help myself with the running commentary here. Statement from the police said he was uh, emotional. I don't know if that's a crime or not, but it doesn't sound like one. You're the legal long crime analyst here, so I want to know about that.
But I also want to know if you have to obey legally, because I get why we might tell people just do what they say and we'll sort it out later. But legally, do you have to obey? Why are they telling him to get on the ground because he's emotional about his daughter who he says was kidnapped by the mother and he believes is in some danger here? You know, I have to say, like, as a lawyer, I've talked with so many people in this situation where there's a child custody involving addiction and alcoholism. And talk about high emotions. It is like every parent's worst nightmare. Uh, There's often multiple incidents where you're like very scared for your child. And Mm -hmm. that father was seemed very calm to me. And it is just horrible that one parent can call 911 and they can have the police officer come and give them sympathy and support. And how can I help you? And this is horrible. And then another parent in the same situation, call that same officer and they get this kind of treatment. It's disgusting. Um, Parents have to, he had to be an advocate for his child. Like he thought his child was in danger. And the fact that he got this kind of treatment and got fired because he was trying to keep his child safe should make all of us just, it's just so sad. And it's so sad. So sad. It's it's sick to me. Okay. And I'm in my mind believing that he is being treated in this manner, both because of his gender and race. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is a dad not supposed to care about? their daughter. I mean, there's that Mm -hmm. bias that often creeps in. And I just wondered too about the urgency. Mm -hmm. The urgency seemed to be all about calming him down. And I agree with you, let's not adopt that scenario because he seemed perfectly and reasonably calm under the circumstances and otherwise. The urgency was all directed at him. I want you to address that, but I also want you to address that he was fired from his job because Mm -hmm. of this. And if the job perhaps has any liability here in firing him without perhaps due cause? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great question. It depends, was he an at-will employee? Could they fire him for any reason? Can he say that um, there's some sort of like discrimination there? So a lot will depend maybe on what his employment is there, but it's it certainly seems like there should be some sort of legal repercussion. And may, and I think creatively you can come up with something because of how unfair that situation really was. Uh, it's a story that uh, is another one we'll keep following. Uh, again, daughter returned to father, but now look at all the other consequences he's facing. Viral video. I don't know if he's been injured in this since he had the knee surgery. The neighbor tried to tell him, so did he. Um, And now he's lost his job, a means to care for presumably his daughter, perhaps only means. So it's a story uh, indisputable, we'll stay on top of. 